Hello YouTube, it is September 21st, 2018. I'm going to get a few videos out the way before I head to the library. I got to return some books today. Um, but before we get into lovely T and Tasha K, y'all know I typically stay away from the YouTube drama videos, but considering that these are actually two beautiful women, it's not the normal messy drama on YouTube with, you know, regular gossip bloggers. I actually admire and respect these two women, so this is, uh, it upset me when I seen this going down between these two. But before I get into these two women... Um, I want to show y'all the books that I chose because it's like it's, in 2018, we don't hear about people reading anymore. We hear about the reads, honey, but we don't hear about the reads. So I want to go and show y'all a few um, books that I'm turning into the library. Um, so I got The Scratch of a Pen, 1763, The Transmission of North America by Cola G. Conray. And this gives the account of, you know... The Treaty of Paris with the Native Americans. When the, um, it gives the perspectives of what the Native Americans had to go through um, with their land being taken over in 1763. And then another good read is by Dennis L. McCarran is The City of Jade, my good um, sci-fi escape. I love the season series with them with um, Once Upon a Spring Morn, Once Upon a Summer's Eve, Once Upon an Autumn's Night. So good sci-fi read if you want to look at this book. Then Traveling, I got the 2017 version of Paris. Also, a little bit of history on black Americans. You got African American first. Everything that, Af um, you know, black people have done first. Um, I, I don't even know why it says African American first because they got biracial people in here. They got... Um, Caribbeans in here, you know, I'm talking about people who actually are born like in Haiti and, you know, born in Barbados and stuff. They got all people of the African diaspora in here. So I don't know why it's African American because, you know, you think of, you know, black Americans, but there's people born in the islands that have I'm um, in here from President Barack Obama, um, Hattie McDaniel. I mean, it just covers everything. Even give you pictures. So a good read to learn about, you know, black people who invented stuff since, you know, we're in a country where they think like we don't do nothing. And then last but certainly not least, to bring it back to um, the Native Americans, I got this book called Wind of the Buffalo um, Grass. And this is by Leslie Tilbit. So once again, a retelling of Native American histories, but this is actually told from the um, actual accounts of fellow Native Americans. So, Native Americans definitely pick up this to get stories told by Natives. So, now that we got the history out the list, uh, out of the way, and I will timestamp this, but I hope y'all didn't, uh, you know, bypass the, you know, book knowledge, because like I said, we really need to be stimulating our minds and learning how to read instead of just reading. But I see two beautiful, strong, independent women who have a difference of opinion um, being pinned against each other, not by themselves, but by, you know, viewers. And it's sad. And it's like, this is why we don't get nowhere as black people. There, so what's going on is, you know, the Cardi B situation. It's like, okay, if all stuff is going to have lovely tea and unwind with Tasha K to fall out in the near future, um, which is, you know, going to happen eventually as, you know, relationships with all good friends. I mean, it, it, it's almost like a euphoria to think that two people would, would never have an argument. I do see lovely T and unwind with Tasha K. They're going to eventually have the arguments, but I, I don't see them. I don't see Cardi B and Dargo Nicki Minaj going to be the end all be all between these two. This is just a, a, a difference of opinions with this Star Marie chick. I'm inclined to believe her. She's like Cat Williams. She's very authentic, however misguided. Star Marie is putting 20 on 10. There is gaps in her story, but I'm not going to write her off and say everything that she's saying is not true. She is saying too much specifics that can easily be debunked. And 
and the people saying she didn't know, uh, people saying they said, uh, oh, she lied about knowing Cardi B because of the Facebook post that she posted in 2015. Uh, well, think about it. If she didn't post to be in New York, and you know there is a statute of limitations. Um, there is a five-year statute of limitations. So the reason why she would just come out now, because a lot of people are saying, well, why is she coming out now? Why didn't she come out back in 2015, 2016? Uh, duh, dumbass, because uh, there is a certain statute of anywhere from three to five years where you can be charged. You just can't go on social media and say that you violated probation. And they're going to say you uh, intentionally cross state lines for the sake of darn on financial gain and think that your ass can't darn going to be brought up on charges just because it's one or two years later. Cardi B became noticeable in late 2015. So that was a year and a half after Star Marie said she was living with Cardi B. So she could have still been brought up on charges if she would have ran her mouth and said, oh, well, this bitch did this to me. So, of course, I can understand why she had to wait a few years because it's like, uh, they could still bring her back on charges, and then her fa uh, her baby daddy, um, Kim Darn gonna have her brought up on some more issues. It looked like she got her, um, custody issues under control as of now. So, yeah, I, I don't think she's a, a complete saint by no means. Like I said, she's like Cat Williams. Uh, Cat Williams be putting 20 on 10. He didn't even know the financial situation with Moni and all of that, but if you listen carefully, he's giving you the tricks of the trade of the Hollywood industry, but it's still misguided. So it, I, I put her in the same in in the same category as Cat Williams. She she's telling some truth, but the bitch is putting twenty on ten. She's making herself look overly innocent in the matter, and and Cardi be overly guilty. But I do believe there there is a middle ground in there. I I it, because. And it's not even about them working at the same club. I do believe that they, them two were indeed staying in the same place. I do believe that uh, she was darn on fun of that bill until Cardi B got put on. I believe every bit of that. And she's a little bit salty because she actually has a natural flow. She looks beautiful. She's a fella naturalista, the whole shebang. She's literally learning on, uh, I mean, about my skin tone as well. So she's like literally chocolate perfection. And then y'all giving it up to this darn on bitch that can barely darn on formulate a damn sentence. So I, I will feel some type of way too. Now, as far as the Latina community, now bitch, you need your ass whooped. You know damn well. You, you just stereotyped all Spanish people as being dirty, talking about. But anyways, this is not even about her. I, that, you, there's been too many people that done digest Star Marie. The end, but the, I just wanted to jump on here and say that y'all motherfuckers, darn on fans, y'all look stupid. Why is y'all on Lovely T page and she done told y'all time and time again that she don't have an issue with darn on love uh, with Tasha? She watched the video. Tasha and her still talk. They have a dis. This ain't the first time that they disagreed on subjects. And they've done complete opposite videos. And y'all saying, darn gone, uh, unwind with Tasha K. She clout chasing and she should have integrity as a journalist. Since when did Lovely T and darn gone Tasha K become journalists all of a sudden? See, y'all be darn gone putting these unrealistic standards on people. Um, at the end of the day, um, Lovely T and unwind with Tasha K are YouTube vloggers. Like, let's not disrespect people who actually went to school for journalism. Let's not, let's not disrespect the Oprah Winfrey's. Oprah Winfrey actually did go to school for journalism and was a news analyst before she became famous and before she got her TV show. And then along with um, Robin Roberts and um, Barbara Walters, those are actual journalists that went to school. Lovely T and them, I respect their craft. They do have, as she would call it, a little bit more discernment in you know, wait until the news come out. Where else? Lovely. Uh, Tasha. Tasha is the one that will go get the news. If it's right, it's right. If it's wrong, it's wrong. She stand by what she stands by. So it's just two different styles of how they operate. Lovely T waits for the information to be brought forth by, you know, credible journalists and stuff and outlets. And then she reports the news in her own special way. 
where else um, Unwind with Tasha K, she actually goes out and do the investigative work. She ain't about to wait for somebody else to get the darn on scoop. She's that person that will actually conduct the interviews and darn gonna get the darn on scoop and get the first hand knowledge herself. So it's two different darn on people. So I don't understand people saying, oh, she messy and I wouldn't have did this bitch. That's why you darn gonna in about the same tax bracket as me. Darn gone, if y'all talking about she should have passed it up, you shouldn't have gave her a platform. Why not? So TMZ can get the darn gone money? At the end of the day, this is a motherfucking business. If darn gone, uh, because at the end of the day, um, this Star Marie chick is darn gone, she may not be promoting a, 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 a soundtrack or whatever, but she managed to plug in that she got a natural awareness thing going on. She got her, um, I don't forgot already, I'm a naturalista. Girl, you didn't do that good on your marketing. I'm your darn on perfect fan base, and I don't forgot what you darn gonna do. You say you was getting something off the ground dealing with natural wellness and health. I I'm gonna have to look into that. I might darn gonna run you some of my coins, honey. But it's like she managed to plug her darn on product. She didn't do the marketing right because, honey, I, I failed to realize what she was even selling us. But Lovely T and uh, Unwind with Tasha K, hell, this is how they get their money. They get money based off of celebrity hot topics. And just because you thought they should have been Barbara Walters, honey, Barbara Walters and them, if they was on YouTube, they wouldn't be getting paid shit. I mean, let's be motherfucking honest. Y'all can talk about, oh, we better than this as black people, but y'all look at the most darn gone gossipy of darn gone topics. When, um, like to a lovely TC, she did the video of the Million Man March. I was one of only 3,000 people that watched the video. But now she's talking about Cardi B, a darn on irrelevant hood rat, going up against a darn on somewhat darn on mediocre hood rat, uh, um, Nicki Minaj. Two bitches that don't mount the shit in the black community. Now y'all want to give to her 100,000 views. Darn gone Lovely T and Unwind with Tasha K get their dominant fan base off of darn gone uh, celebrity gossip. Now this is going to be the end all be all. It was okay to talk about Cardi B and Nicki Minaj, but the star Marie chick, who is just a, a, a health conscious version of Cardi B. Because it's like, uh, bitch, y'all all one and the same, except you're just an organic version of crap. This is processed crap. Nicki Minaj and darn gone Cardi B our process manufacture crap and darn on this star marie chick is just authentic organic crap so it, it, it's still no different so at least she can be darn on turned into some sort of renewable resource since she's promoting you know natural hair care and realness while she's spearing all this darn on manure so it's like i i don't blame tasha k so get off the, um get off of both of their bats that, that's all i wanted to say I mean, that just pissed me off. I'm looking at this. I'm like, is people really making dedicated videos trying to pin these two women against each other who don't have a problem all over a difference of opinion on Star Marie? Now, Tasha K interviewed her directly, and now y'all looking foolish because she done came out with... um. Another darn clip saying she got um, a video live coming on tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, showing proof that Star Marie actually did stay with um with Cardi B. So now she's bringing the actual proof. Now is y'all going to darn on backpedal and pussy pop? Shout out to James Cowell. Is y'all now going to backpedal and start apologizing to darn on Tasha K if she actually um, shows some of the um, receipts? That um, Star Marie indeed know um, Cardi B. Y'all thought she didn't know Cardi B because she typed the Facebook post in 15 saying, oh, I wish I knew her. But it would make sense if you take the time and think if the bitch is on darn on probation. And the only way that she would have known Cardi B is to admit that she was working with Cardi B in the club. Why in the hell would she admit that in 2015 when she can still be brought up on charges? So, y'all is running with the fact that she don't know her based off of one darn on post that she said in 2015 where she had to lie and say, oh, I, I wish I knew her. Because if she admitted that she did know her, it would have been like, okay, connect the dots. And because you know your probation officers and shit, they darn gonna peek your Facebook and all of that. 
So, yeah, that's my darn on thoughts on this situation. Overall, just a hot darn on stinking mess between these three. The only darn on authentic beauties up in here, y'all trying to pin up against each other. So it's like once again, y'all cut that shit out. Like that don't don't be trying to. And like I said, why pin two beautiful black women against each other over differences of opinion? Tasha K didn't darn gonna say nothing bad to Lovely T and vice versa. Y'all up in them comments stirring some darn on shit. And then y'all wonder why we can't get nowhere. Y'all wonder why we can't get nowhere. But yeah, that's it, y'all. Y'all leave y'all thoughts on this situation. I wasn't even trying to make it a, a, a full 15-minute video, but it, it, it had to be said. I ended up jumping on a little bit of everything. But what are y'all thoughts on this about um, people trying to be messy and pin lovely tea up against Unwind with Tasha K? I mean, I see two beautiful chocolate women who have different personalities that I actually admire. I admire the extrovertedness in Darn on um, Tasha K. She reminds me of my good girl pal that I used to work with in Kirby. And Darn on um, Lovely T, she reminds me of my fellow introverted personality. So, I don't got nothing but love, respect for both of them. I wish them continued success on both of their platforms. And, you know, they continue to know all these Darn on haters. So, I'd love to know y'all thoughts. Leave it down below. Also, y'all thoughts on this Star Marie and Cardi and Nikki situation. Like I said, Star Marie is organic during on cow manure. She's organic during on natural shit versus Cardi B and Nikki or manufactured shit. It's still shit, except one is just a little bit more natural than the other, honey. So, y'all leave y'all thoughts, share, and I'll see y'all soon with more videos. Mwah.